Good evening, everyone. Tonight, we're standing at the edge of a seismic shift in global communication, and it comes at a price that's as mind-bending as the innovation. Behind it, just $235 in 2026, Elon Musk is set to launch the Tesla Starlink Pi Phone, a device that combines everyday smartphone functionality with satellite connectivity, Neuralink integration, solar charging, and cutting-edge AI wrapped into a single powerhouse. In the next few minutes, we'll break down everything you need to know from its disruptive potential to the features that could transform the wireless industry forever. And stick around because we'll unveil a feature Elon Musk claims could make today's top smartphones completely irrelevant. Picture this, you're navigating a barren desert, completely off the grid, yet still making crystal clear video calls. Or imagine disaster zones, where emergency teams use just one device to coordinate rescues no cell towers needed. All for under $250. That's the vision behind the Starlink Pi phone. But is it all hype? Or is this the moment we say goodbye to conventional mobile networks? By the end of this video, you'll not only grasp how this device works, but why it could shake Apple, Samsung, and the global telecom industry to its core. At $235, the Pi phone's base price comes in drastically below most of today's smartphones. For reference, the latest iPhone retails at around $799, and even most budget Android models rarely fall below $300. Yet, Elon Musk claims Tesla can produce and ship millions of units at or below cost, profiting instead through Starlink subscription. Plans that creates real disruption not just for buyers, but for traditional carriers built on monthly fees. The question is, will companies like AT&T and Verizon adjust their models or slowly bleed customers to satellite-based alternatives? This is where the real innovation kicks in. Starlink utilizes a vast network of low-Earth orbit satellites to deliver high-speed low-latency, internet access nearly anywhere in the world. To embed that capability into a smartphone, engineers needed to shrink down phased array and restricted to bulky rooftop setups. Tesla says they've pulled it off using proprietary antenna engineering and efficient power systems. In a moment, We'll unpack the onboard signal processing unit that powers download speeds of up to 300 Mbps in areas with zero terrestrial service. In terms of design, early prototypes showcase a futuristic edge-to-edge -edge display, a tough ceramic-infused shell, and a bold camera module inspired by Tesla's Cybertruck styling. The phone is expected to weigh about 160 grams on par with leading models. Inside a 5000 MA, battery doubling the power of most flagship phones and integrated solar charging right on the rear. We'll dive into that solar tech soon, but first, note Tesla's unmistakable design philosophy, clean lines, durable materials, and function-driven aesthetics taken straight from its EV playbook. Tesla's solar roofing tech has now evolved into microscale form. That innovation powers the Pi phone's solar capability, embedding microsolar panels beneath the back glass. These can boost your battery by up to 5% per hour in full sunlight. While it's not designed to replace standard charging, it's a game-changer in remote areas or emergencies offering up to a day of additional use. Coupled with the massive 5000 mAh cell, the phone promises roughly 72 hours of average usage. We'll return to this lighter it ties directly into Musk's mission for sustainable, off-grid living. Running under the hood is Tesla's a custom operating system built on a Linux core and tailored for AI-driven features. Localized neural engines manage tasks like real-time voice translation and device assistance, and advanced photo editing all without relying on constant internet access. But here's the kicker. The phone is Neuralink ready. In the future, paired with Musk's brain machine, interface users could potentially send messages, place calls, or operate smart devices using only thoughts. While mainstream use awaits FDA clearance expected by 2027, the Pi phone is already equipped, marking it as the first brain-compatible mobile device. Naturally, such a device one that can transmit thoughts and connect to sat major concerns about privacy, ethics, and data protection. Tesla has addressed these worries stating that all transmissions including neural data and traditional usage will be encrypted. Plus, the phone includes a physical kill switch to disable satellite connectivity on demand, offering users full control over their data pipeline, whether it's from Earth or mind. 
Still, encryption doesn't silence the geopolitical storm. This phone might provoke countries like China, Russia, and Iran have already blocked or restricted Starlink. A handheld satellite phone could heighten global tensions, especially in regions that enforce strict control over telecom infrastructure. Regulatory backlash is almost guaranteed. The real issue now, how will Musk's legal team maintain global compliance without compromising Starlink's vision of free borderless access? So, who's most at risk if the Pi phone succeeds? Definitely traditional mobile carriers, and major phone makers Apple, Samsung, Huawei may see their hold on. Both hardware and network subscriptions crumble. Meanwhile, SpaceX's Starlink division and Tesla's broader energy operations could build a tightly integrated ecosystem by the Pi phone. Subscribe to Starlink, connect with Neuralink, that vertical integration could breed a new kind of brand. Loyalty one that stretches from your home to orbit, and maybe one day, to your consciousness. Later, we'll share some predictions about market reactions, and how investors might position themselves. Don't go anywhere because what you'll see next is the one feature Elon Musk debuted on stage that stunned even seasoned engineers. It could be the real killer app for this device. At his keynote event, Musk walked onto a wide-open desert stage, lifting the Tesla Starlink Pi phone for all to see. In front of a live audience, he initiated a video call to the international space, station powered entirely by the device's built-in satellite connection. The astronauts appeared on screen with virtually zero delay a jaw-dropping example of its range. But that wasn't the showstopper. Musk then activated Neuralink mode, and using nothing but eye movement, opened a new message draft. The demo worked flawlessly, showcasing a seamless fusion of neural interface, hardware, and software. The concept of a satellite-linked smartphone has been discussed for years, but never this close to reality. For billions who still lack stable internet, the Tesla Pi phone could be the tool that brings them online for the first time enabling education, business, and emergency response in places long neglected. But with this power comes responsibility. If every Pi phone relies on Musk's satellites, who governs the data, will repressive governments demand access or surveillance backdoors? Neuralink raises even deeper issues. If human thoughts are biometric, data are being shared, how will it be protected? Could corporations or hackers exploit it? Tesla assures that user privacy is central to the design with encrypted transmission and full local control. Still, history teaches us to approach such centralized tech with caution. Great innovation, especially when controlled by one person or entity, must be met with transparency, public oversight, and international regulation. The Tesla Starlink Pi phone, priced at just $235, isn't merely another new gadget. It's a fusion of satellite internet, AI, sustainable energy, and mind-machine interface. If Musk pulls it off, this may be the last phone of its kind, the first of a completely new era. So what's your take? Are you ready to make the switch? And how do you feel about a single company holding the keys to your data, your connectivity, and maybe even your thoughts. Drop your thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and tap the bell if you found this intriguing. Thanks for watching and good night.